yourself to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Um, Jackie Garcia Haiti. How old are you now? Excuse me? How old are you now? I'm 30. Did you know a man named Sean Taylor? Yes. Let me show you a photograph. Ask you if you can identify. Who is this a photograph of? Sean. State offers you sent to evidence. This is the first day of the Is it the number? ID? Uh, Mark for ID is straight, state exhibit number 3U. 3U, the No, I'm sorry. That's 3J. 3J. Oh, okay. It's a little more popular application. 3J now becomes state exhibit number 1. Draft. Was Sean drafted? Yes. What number? Um, four. Do you have to show this to the jury? Yes. This is, here. This is the first letter of evidence been introduced. You'll get this and all the other items that are introduced into evidence at the conclusion of the trial when you deliberate. How did you know Sean Taylor? Um, we met in high school. I know. We started. Jackie, do you need a second? Okay. Do you need some water? Okay. I know. We started dating in, at the University of Miami in 2002. Did you know, so you knew him from as far back as when? As in high school when we were 15. What high school did you go to together? Gulliver Prep. And then you started dating in what year? 2002. Did you attend the same college? Yes. Which college was it? University of Miami. Do you still go there? No. Do you go to a different college at this time? No. What did Sean do at the University of Miami? He was an All-American football player. When he graduated, when he left college, what did he do professionally? He played for the Washington Redskins. What was your relationship with uh, Sean Taylor in 2007 throughout the years? We were boyfriend and girlfriend. Did Sean have any children? Yes. With you? Yes. What was your child's name? Jacqueline Michelle Marie Taylor. That's a pretty name. Why did you choose that? Um, we gave her my first name and um, we gave her middle name resembles his two middle names. What's Sean's full name? Sean Michael Maurice Taylor. And your daughter? Jackie Michelle Marie Taylor. Let me show you what's been marked for identification, state exhibit number 1E. Do you recognize this photograph? Yeah. Who is this a photograph of? Me, my daughter, and Sean. And about when was it taken? Um, Easter Sunday. Of uh, what year? Um, 2000 and... Seven. The statement is just in the evidence that's an extra exhibit. Well, All right, now we have a rule of the admitted. This is in the mark of the identification one E and now becomes state exhibit number two. Can you share this to the jury? Yes, you may. You 
said a moment ago that uh, Sean played football with Washington, well, professionally, right? Yes. For which team? Washington Redskins. And he had played in college for? University of Miami. And while with Washington, did he go to the Pro Bowl? Yeah, well, he was um, got voted as an alternate, and yes, he did attempt. All right, let me show you what's remarked for identification purposes of State Exhibit Number 1A. Do you recognize this? Yes. And what is this a photograph of? Um, one helmet from the Pro Bowl, one helmet from the University of Miami, and one helmet from the Washington Redskins. And does this come from his bedroom? Yes. Who wrote the image? This is the one for identification. One A now becomes the digital three. May I show this to the jury? How old was your daughter in November 2007? 18 months. How old were you and Sean? 24. Where did Sean live in 2007? Um, in Ashburn, Virginia. Why did he live in Ashburn, Virginia? Um, he, that's where he played football. Judge, can you ask the jury if everyone can hear her okay? Can we hear okay? Sorry. Did Sean have any other residences? Yes. And where was that? In Miami. Let me show you a photograph that's been marked for identification is this thing to the one The state, let me show you what's marked for identification in state exhibit number 1J. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. Okay. And what's this a photograph of? Our house. The state would move this into evidence as the next state exhibit. No objection. No objection. The exhibit marked for identification 1J now becomes state exhibit number 4. This the residence at 18050 Old Cutler Road? Yes. Can I show the seizure? Yes. Start right here. Why does Sean have this house? He purchased it for his family. Would some family members stay there? Yes. Did he ever ask for rent? No. What family members would stay there? Um, Donna, his mother, Sasha, his sister, and Jamal, his sister, his brother, I'm sorry. Have you seen a sketch of the old Cutler Road house before? Oh. Have you seen a sketch of the old Cutler Road house? Yes. Does it accurately depict, accurately show the layout of the house, the rooms, and so on? Yes. Let me show you what's been marked for identification in State Exhibit Number 2Y. Is this that sketch? Yes. Does this show accurately the locations of the bedrooms and the living room and the other areas of the house? Yes. Does the State will this in the evidence as the next day exhibit. No objection.
Can I show this to yes. Europe? Now, you didn't draw this sketch, did you? No. You can take it and set it on the easel for a minute. And let me ask you to come down with me for a minute, okay? I'm going to ask you to raise your horse down there. I can't give you the microphone. Okay. Wherever you need to, as long as you're not sitting in the jury box. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, you're fine. All right. The front, the front of the house, where is that? The top or bottom of the sketch? On the bottom. So that's down here? Yes. All right. This bedroom to the left, the first bedroom to the left of the front door, whose bedroom was that? Um, Jamal. The bedroom next to Jamal, whose bedroom was that? My daughter's. This room that appears unmarked right now, whose room was that? That's just, I guess that would be west of the uh, bedroom that was your daughter's, right? Sasha. The bedroom in the back is the master bedroom? Yes. The bedroom to the right in the back? Donna. And then this area back here where there's a patio, what's back there? I'm the pool and the patio. All right, you can have a seat again. Thank you. So you've identified some of the rooms in the house. Let me show you some pictures. Let me start with uh, State Exhibit 1C. Do you recognize this photograph? Yes. What's it a picture of? Shoe boxes. And whose room is it? Jamal. The statement is just the evidence as the next day exhibit. No objection. Yes, you did. Mark identification 1C, now we come to exhibit number 6. Let me show you what's been marked for identification of state exhibit 2D. Do you recognize what's in this picture? Yes. What's this picture of? Jamal's room. The statement is just in the evidence as the next day exhibit. No objection. Yes, Identification 2B now becomes exhibit number 7. Can I show you some jurors now? You also mentioned your daughter's room. Yes. Let me show you what's been marked for identification of state exhibits number 2G, 2I, 2H. Do you recognize these photographs? Yeah. What are these photographs of? My daughter's better. State moves in, these into evidence as the next state exhibit. Daughter home, the nice Sean Taylor was shown. Exhibit mark identification 2G, now we come to exhibit number 8. Judge objection is irrelevant. That'll be a rule. Was your daughter home? I'm sorry, I'm going to get you here. Take the mark identification 2H, now we come to exhibit number 9. Take the mark identification 2I, now we come to exhibit number 10. Display state exhibit number nine and ten at this time. Next, I would like to show you what's been marked for identification of state exhibit number one H. Do you recognize what's in this photograph? 
Where's this a photograph of? Um, Sasha's room. Statement is this in the evidence that's the next day? No objection. Yeah, this is a mock identification of one eight. And I'll become this is written number eleven. Do I need to ask each time? Do I need to ask the judge each time, Michelle? No. I don't think it's Correct one of those pictures. And next, let me show you what's been marked for identification as state exhibit number one I. Do you recognize this picture? Yes. What's this a picture of? Our bedroom. State news is in the evidence of the next state of No objection. Okay. If you did not have an application, one I now becomes state exhibit number 12. Did you know a man named Devon Wardwell? No. Christopher Devon Wardwell? No. Did Sasha have any boyfriends? Yes. Do you recall her boyfriend's name? Yes. What was it? Devon. Had you met Devon? Yes. Had Devon ever been to the house before? Yes. Were there ever occasions at the house where there were large amounts of cash? Yes. Did you know a man named Eric Rivera? Tim Brown, no. Benja Hunt, no. Jason Mitchell, no. Charles Wardlow. No. Did you ever give them permission to enter your house, in mm -hmm. Sean's house, on November the 25th into the 26th of 2007? Never. Was Sean at the old Cutler Road address every day and night in November of 2007? Yes. Were there times when he was in Virginia? Yes. So was he there sometimes and other times he wasn't? Yes, he was mostly in Virginia because he was, it was during season. All right, what was his condition in the second week or so in November 2007? He had a knee injury. By Thanksgiving, where was Sean Thanksgiving weekend? We were here visiting our family. And you were here in yeah. Miami? Yes. Was Sean here? Yes. And where was your daughter? With us. Now, the house on Old Cutler Road, did it have hurricane shutters? Yes. Were they left up? Yes. Why were they left up? Um, because when we leave, it's usually during hurricane season, so we made sure the house was closed up. Did the house have an alarm? It did, but it was broken at the time. Let's talk in a little bit more detail of Thanksgiving weekend okay. in 2007. The 25th, which is Sunday, into the 26th, which was Monday. So, were you at the house that day and that night? I left during the day to see my family, and then I came back. I'll show you a photograph and ask you if you recognize what's in the picture and stay exhibit number one K. Yes. What's in the picture? Um, my mother's car and Sean's car. All right. Does this have a picture of the house? Yes, as well. And the cars that were there on the 25th? Yes. Move this into evidence as the next day to the this is a remark by identification. One K now becomes this is number thirteen.
the white car that's in the photograph, whose car was that? My mother's car. And the other's cars, whose cars were those? Sean's. Are those the cars that were at the Old Cutler Road house the evening of Sunday the 25th? Yes. How did your mother's car get there? Um, we were having issues with one of the cars and I drove my mom's car for the weekend. Let me show you what's more for identification to state exhibit number 2J. Do you recognize what's in this photograph? Yes. What's this a photograph of? Uh, Donna's room. With this in evidence as an exchange of it? It is in the identification 2J, now we come to the number 14. Was this the room in the back of the house by the pool? Yes. All right, let's talk about the night of Sunday, November the 25th of 2007. What time did you and Sean go to bed that night? Um, around 9 or 10. And what room did you go to? The master bedroom. Where was your daughter, Jackie? In bed with us. Besides you and your 18-month-old daughter and Sean Taylor, was anyone else at the home on Sunday the 25th in the evening? No. About what time did you go to bed? About probably around 10, 9 or 10. And what happened with regard to the master bedroom door before you went to bed? We locked it. What happened there after you went to sleep? What's the first thing that you remember? Um, Sean woke me up and told me he had heard a noise and to call the police. How did you feel at that time? Scared. Where was your daughter? Next to me, sleeping. And where were you all? In our bed. Let me show you what's been marked for ID as State Exhibit 1M. Do you recognize this? Yeah. What's that a picture of? Our better. Is that how it looked that night? Yes. And for State Exhibit 1M, this is going to have an exhibit next State Exhibit. State Exhibit 1M, now becomes State Exhibit number 15. Have a new mayor? Have a new mayor? Have a new mayor? Have a new mayor? show you what's been marked for identification is 3A. Do you recognize this? Yes. What's this a picture of? Our bedroom. Move this in the hand. This is the next page, sir. No objection. This is marked for identification 3A. Now the conference is given number 16. <coughs> So, Sean awakens you while you're in bed with your daughter. Yeah. And what did he do? He asked me where his um, machete was, and I told him that it was next to the bed, and he got up. Why did Sean have a machete? Um, mostly for landscaping and for protection at that moment. What did he do when he got the machete? He proceeded towards our bedroom door. And what did you do? 
I attempted to call 911. And what's the next thing that you recall? Um, I heard a really loud noise, very similar to a gunshot, and a scream, like, ah. Could you tell whose voice it was? I think it was Sean's. And what did you do at that moment? I hid under the covers. Where was your daughter? Next to me. Did a little bit of time pass? A little bit. Did there come a point where you felt a little bit safer? Mm. No. Did you get out of the bed? Yeah, I heard um, once the room was silent, I heard someone gasping for air. Do you need a minute? Are you sure? Can yeah. You I beg your pardon? Yeah, okay. And did you realize who that was? Um, yes, once I got up and I saw um, Sean Lane face down, surrounded by blood. And where was he? Excuse me? Where was he? In the hallway. Right, so looking back at state exhibit number 15. Mm -hmm. Looking back at stage of exhibit number 15, where's the hallway that we walk towards? Can you see on this picture? If you get out of the bed and turn right, it's that, Is that in this area? Yes. Now, by the way, there's something down here in the closet at the bottom by the door, this gray object. What is that? A safe. As you walked down that hallway, what did you see? I saw him laying on, on the floor, face down, and I just saw lots of blood. Did you try to talk to him? Yeah. Was Sean able to say anything? No. What did you say to him? Oh, that I called the police and that they were on their way. His remark for that occasion is State Exhibit Number Three D. Do you recognize what's in this picture? Yeah. Is this a picture of a hallway that you walked down when you saw Sean? Yes. In the bedroom? Yes. The state of existence evidence is the next day exhibit. No objection. This is my identification. Three D now becomes State Exhibit Number Seventeen. Three D. Three D as a book. What did you do after you called the police? I um, I grabbed a towel and tried to stop the bleeding. Did you personally ever see anyone in the house besides you and Sean and your child? Yeah. Did you actually hear any voices or noises 
before Sean awakening you? No. Did the police come? Yes. What happened when the police came? Um, I ran outside and screamed for help. I told him someone was dying. I'm sorry? And I told him someone was dying to police her. Did the police come in? Yes. And did fire rescue come also? Yes. When you went out into the living room area, did you see the sliding glass door? Yes. I show you what's remarked for identification of state exhibit number 1L. Do you recognize this? Yes. What's, what's the picture of? Our sliding glass door to the patio. Just the way it looked when you went into your living room? Yes. Just the way it looked when you went to bed? No. State uses and evidence as the next state exhibit? No objection. It's been marked by the information 1L, now the conflict exhibit number 18. <clears throat> What about the condition of your master bedroom door? What was the condition of your master bedroom door? It had been, all the wood looked like it had been shattered and forced. <clears throat> Let me show you what's been marked for identification. As state exhibit number three said, do you recognize this? Yeah. What is this? Our bedroom door. Move this into evidence as the next day, etc. No objection. This is the one that I'm in three C now becomes the exhibit number 19. You said earlier that Sean went to do his own landscaping? Yes. Let me show you what's doing part for identification of state exhibit number four year. What's this a picture of? My daughter and Sean on the lawnmower. State was this not evidence of the next state exhibit? Objection relevancy. If it is marked by identification for you, it now becomes state exhibit number. Chevy to help protect you all? You mean that name? Yeah. Yes. So you had said that the, that the police came. Before the police came, did you do anything to try to help Sean? Yeah. What did you do? I tried to um, find where the blood was coming out. I tried to put pressure with a towel. Did fire rescue come too? Yes. Did they transport Sean to the hospital? Yes. <laughs> What did you do when you left the house? I went, I went to my mother's to drop off my daughter and change, and I went to the hospital. Who, how did you get to your uh, mother's house? My father. 
Okay, so when you went back to your uh, mom's house, what did you do? I changed my clothes and okay. I went directly to the hospital. Why did you change your clothes? Because I was full of blood. Let me show you what's been um, marked for identification, State Exhibits 3M and N. You recognize what's in these photographs? Yes. What are these photographs on? The clothes that I was wearing that night. The statement that's used in evidence is the next stage of it. No objection, Judge. This is the mark of identification 3M. Now you come to the number 21. This is the mark of identification 3M. Now you come to the number 22. And that after you changed your clothing, you went to the hospital? Yes. Did Sean survive? No. That's all the questions I had at this time. Okay. Hello. Now, did you normally drive the white SUV? No. And I believe you stated that that was your mother's car? Yes. Um, why were you driving it at that time? Because we had an issue with one of the tires on the car that was actually working. Okay. And what car would you normally drive? My car wasn't in Miami at the time. Okay. Did, did your mother normally visit Sean's house? Sometimes. Okay. Did she spend the night at Sean's house? No. Was it normal for you to spend the night at Sean's house if he was out of town? Yes. Okay. And do you know a person by the name of David Walsh? Yes. Okay. And who is David Walsh? Sean's cousin. Did he normally stay at the house as well? No. Now, did Sean normally keep large amounts of cash in the house? Yes. And what was the reason for that? He liked to pay things with cash, and he was an occasional gambler. Do you know um, how many people knew he kept large amounts of cash at the house? No. And how long had you been driving your mom's car before this incident occurred? Just the weekend. Did you have to this one moment? Nothing perfect. Very good. Yes, do you remember the approximate time that you were waking that night? Around one thirty. Right here, you're about to the truth, the whole truth, and the truth? Yes, sir. 
Can you please introduce yourself to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Sure. My name is uh, Officer Alexander Castillo. I am a police officer for, with Miami-Dade Police Department, and I'm presently assigned to the village of Palmetto Bay. How long have you been with the Miami-Dade Police Department? Ten years. Where were you working in the early morning hours of November the 26th of 2007? Palmetto Bay. Let me call your attention to about 1.40 in the morning. Were you working then? Yes, sir. In your official capacity as a Miami-Dade police officer? Yes, sir. Mark Carr? Yes, sir. Uniform? Yes, sir. And around that time, did you respond to 18050 Old Cutler Road? Yes, sir. Is that Miami-Dade County, Florida? Yes, sir. And let me show you a photograph and ask you if you recognize it. I'm showing you what has been marked for identification, State Exhibit Number 2D, Victor. What is this a picture of? It's the home that we responded to that night at approximately 140, whatever it was the time. Move this into evidence as the next thing. This is in the marked identification 2D, now the home State Exhibit Number 23. B as in boy? B as in Victor. yellow tape that's across the front, was that there when you first arrived? No, sir. Photograph? Yes, sir. And what is this a photograph of? That's the driveway of the same house, just past the, the gate. Who's the first officer who arrived there? Well, we pretty much arrived as a squad, almost almost in unison. Were you among the very first officers who arrived there? Yes, sir. And what happened when you arrived there? Uh, I made contact with... Um, Jackie, I'm sorry, I don't know her last name. I would call her Miss, but I, I don't know her last name. Uh, Jackie, she was holding a, a, a baby girl, and she was uh, screaming, saying, my boyfriend's been shot, you gotta jump the fence, you know, get over here. Did you know whose house that was when you first arrived there? No, I didn't. What was her emotional state that you could see? Oh, she was terrified. She was very excited, very uh, animate, crying, yelling, and what did you do? I asked her to please open the gate because it was like a 10 foot wall and the gate was not scalable. It was just straight pipes. So I asked her if, if she could just to push the button and let us in and she was able to do that for us. And so what did you do? Um, I basically uh, went down the north side of the house where I, I saw the, uh, the lanai door, which is like a, an enclosed, um, Say. Let me stop you for okay. a second and show you state exhibit number 3D. Do you recognize this? Yes, sir. What is this a photograph of? That's the, the, the basically the pool with the, a, a, the lanai pictured on the side. A, a screen enclosure is what I'm trying to say. Right. So the lanai is the screen enclosure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. So let me stop you for just a second and take a look at the sketch right here. This is the front of the house. Mm -hmm. Can I see you able to see from here? No. Yeah. Right. What direction is this facing? It's east. And which way did you go? Around this side here. So you're coming around this way? Right, the north side. And into where? To back here, the back, the back area. The, the pool area is back here. So, the so that's back into here? Right, yes. All right, now the photograph that you just looked at, is this a photograph of that lanai screened in area in the back where the pool is? Yes, sir. Move this into evidence as the next day, so. Okay. Yeah. 
Conflicted in the mark on the application 3B, mark the conflict is different number 24. So in the back, in this picture, there's a door that looks white on the inside of the door, but that's the color of the paint. Yes, sir. What was the condition of that door when you saw it? It was uh, damaged. The uh, door frame had been, it, looked, it appeared to have been pried. There was uh, shavings and pieces of the door on the floor. Let me show you this for Mark for identification, State Exhibit Number 3E. Ask if you recognize what's in this picture. Yes, sir. That's the door in question. Yeah, the issue is that. Uh, what's this picture of? It, the same door, the, the outside portion of the door. And does this depict some of the damage to the door? Yes, sir. We have this in evidence at the next day, is it? So, This is my identification 3D, not the number 25. Judge, could we go sidebar for a moment? Yes. Do you recognize what's in this picture? Yes, sir. What's in the picture? It's the same door, close up, uh, specifically the, the hinge and the damage that I, was, I just spoke about. for a second. And Judge, for the record, I'm keeping the I'm trying to keep the photographs angled so that they're not displayed to people in the courtroom. Okay. okay. Besides the jury then is to so we saw the damage to the door. Uh, when you go around the back, by the way, um, what is your status? Do you have a gun? I have a gun. It's in my hands. It's out of my holster. I am uh, very alert. I'm basically sweeping the area in case one of the subjects or subject is still on the premises. Do you enter the house? I do. Once I saw the, uh, the, the door ajar and pried open. And what do you do? With, are you by yourself or no, are you with someone? No, I actually uh, grab one of my squad mates 
and ask them that we're going to sweep the house. Obviously, somebody went in through this door, and uh, we're going to clear the house. All right, as you walked in through the um, living room area, what did you say? The living room area. I saw... Past the kitchen. Past the kitchen. I saw a, uh, like, sp spurts of blood and um, basically the, like, the elbow of, of, uh, of Mr. Taylor. Did you know it was Mr. Taylor at the time? No, sir. So let me show you what's remarked for identification in state exhibit number 1P. Recognize this? Yes, sir. What's it a picture of? It's the hallway where Mr. Taylor was lying. Good, this is the evidence. That's the next state exhibit. Yeah, we do. <coughs> yes. show you um, what's been marked for identification in state exhibit number one Y. Do you recognize this? Yes, sir. It's the, the kitchen area approaching the hallway in what we just talked about. Is this the broader view? Yes, sir. Move this to the head and says the next state exhibit. No, sir. This is the mark for identification one Y. Now we come to the exhibit number 28. Yes, sir. Did you notice anything else as you walked through the living room? There was, um, it was, it was sparsely furnished, so it's just like a couple couches in, in such a big house. So by the uh, sliding glass door, there was a, a small love seat with a, a casing and uh, a sliding glass door which had been shattered and the cording shutters appeared to have like a, a small hole in it. All right, by casing, what do you mean exactly? The, the bullet casing, or a bullet casing, basically a jacket. State exhibit number three. Is that what's depicted in this photograph? Yes, sir, exactly. Move this into evidence as the next state exhibit. No objection. State exhibit mark identification 3F now becomes state exhibit number 29. <clears throat> Take a moment and take a look at this if I can ask you to stand down. It's a laser pointer. Can you show where you see the casing? Sure. So, right down here. And 
So that's uh, the far left of the photograph on the couch? Yes, sir. And what's it facing? It's basically with the bullet, the, the jacket where if you fire a weapon, the, the piece of the bullet that doesn't fly out the point of the gun is what is the jacket flies out the side of the gun. And the little hole that you saw in the hurricane shutter, where's that on the picture? It's right there. Okay, indicating about midway above the handle on the right, right, right. shutter. Yeah. All right, you can step down there. Thanks. And the shattered glass and sliding doors apparent. Right. Let's talk about um, Mr. Taylor, who you saw laying in, um, in blood. How did he appear to you? He was uh, face down with an arm, one arm over his forehead, grunting. Was he responsive? No. Was there a lot of blood? Oh, yes, sir. Did you know who it was when you first saw him? No, not at all. Did uh, anyone tell you why you were on the scene? Yes. Uh, I asked, once I saw the, the tattoo and I read the name, um, I asked uh, Jackie, is this, um, is this uh, the Sean Taylor, the football player's little brother, or is this, you know, who is this? And she said, no, no, that's the football player. And I realized then, I was like, okay, this is, you know, the Redskin, the Washington Redskin guy. And what was Jackie's condition at that time? No, she was frantic. Right, let me show you what's from one for identification. At this time, as state exhibit number 4S, do you recognize what's in this photograph? Yes, sir. What's in this photograph? That's the tattoo that I, that I just mentioned of, on his back. It basically went shoulder to shoulder. His last name in the cityscape. Move this into evidence as the next state exhibit. No objection. This is the modified identification 4S. Now it becomes this exhibit number 30. Did fire rescue come to the scene? Yes, sir. Did they try to treat Mr. Taylor? Oh, yes, sir. They tried. Did they transport him in an ambulance? Right away. What did you do afterward? I basically helped secure the scene and got out of the way for fire rescue. Right, if I secure the scene, is that such things as? I basically helped tape up the the premises and and make sure nobody you know went in. And, and messed up anything that we needed to take photos of and so on so on. That's all the questions I have this time. Well, yeah. Good afternoon, officer. How you doing, ma'am? Good. Now, when you first arrived, your primary focus was to See if the suspects were still there. Is correct. That correct. Yes, ma'am. And then after you saw that there were no suspects, to check on Mr. Taylor's condition. Yeah, I unfortunately I, I'm I'm pretty much an EMT who's also a cop. So once I saw the body or Mr. Taylor on the floor grunting, my instincts of my medical background kicked in, and I wanted to try to help him. So at that point, I basically holstered up and I tried to to move him to to basically. Turn them over, see if I can stop the bleeding. Okay. And at that point, fire and rescue arrived? Almost instantaneously. Okay. As, as I tried, I tried basically once and I couldn't. He was just huge, huge man. And, uh, and at that point, I just, I just got out of the way and helped them get their, their gear in, in place. Okay. And you didn't help locate any suspects, is that correct? Correct. And you didn't collect any of the physical evidence at the scene? Correct and you didn't photograph any of the evidence or the crime scene. Correct. So um, your primary involvement was to secure the scene and to assist Mr. Taylor? Right, clearing the house, making sure nobody else was there, and trying to get Mr. Taylor help. Okay, thank you, nothing further. Reverb? Yeah. All right, thank you, Nelson, maybe excuse. Thank you, sir. Nick Garnett's advance.
Good afternoon, Officer Manning. Can you introduce yourself to the jury, please? Good afternoon. I'm Officer Carmen Manning. I'm with the Miami Day Police Department. I've been on since 2004. Officer Manning, I want to call your attention to the early morning hours of November the 26th of 2007 and about 1.40 in the morning. morning. Where were you then? I was on duty. Um, I, I was suspect, well, uh, an emergency call came out and we responded to a home on Old Cutler in about approximately 1803. Let me show you what's been moved in evidence of state exhibit number four. Is this where you responded? Yes. And were you in a marked car? Yes. In uniform? Yes. In an emergency mode? Yes. What did you see when you arrived there? When I arrived, um, Ms. Garcia came uh, from the front area of the home toward the front gate, which was a wrought iron fence, which was closed at the time. Um, she was frantic, screaming. Um, at that time, I really couldn't make out what she was saying. Uh, we were trying to get over the fence. Um, then I don't know if she pressed something, but the front fence uh, became open. And did you enter the yard? Yes, I did. Where did you go when you entered the yard? I went to the <clears throat> I went to the north uh, rear part of the house first. By the by, there's, there's an SUV in the yard, a white SUV. Let me show you what's been moved in evidence of State Exhibit Number 13. Recognize what's in this photograph? Yes. You mentioned a white car? Correct. That was white SUV. And you went where? I went uh, beyond the, the vehicle to the rear of the yard. All right. Let me kind of put the photograph up here for a second and ask you to just stand down. And see if you can show the ladies and gentlemen the jury where it was that you entered. The fence, is, the fence is here, I came through here, and I went to the rear here, behind the house. Okay, so you come around to the back of the house? Yes. Do you eventually enter the house? Yes. Which door do you use to enter the house? If I could just show you one more. Okay. I entered, I entered through this door here. The side door? Yes. Why were you going around the outside of the house? Uh, to you check your chair. To check it and see if there was any uh, anyone still a threat to officers to the officer's safety, based on the nature of the call. Did you see any people in the area no. around the house at that time? No. Had other officers, like Officer Castillo, actually entered the house before you? Uh, when I when I got into the house, yes. Officer Castillo was already in the home. Correct. All right. When you get inside the house, did you go through the entire house? I'm not sure if I went through the entire house, but I went in through a door. Um, I saw I saw uh, Mr. Taylor laying on the ground. Um, at this time, other officers were already in the house and had already secured the house. And what was Mr. Taylor's, did you know it was Mr. Taylor at first? No. What was Mr. Taylor's condition when you saw him on the floor? I saw a, uh, I saw Mr. Taylor laying on the ground, um, blood, in a pool of blood, um, laying flat on the ground, and, and Officer Castillo was near to him. Did you see anything else near to him? Uh, yes, there was a machete in the hallway. What happened to the machete? The machete was stayed in the hallway until fire rescue arrived. When fire rescue arrived, they were bringing in the gurney, the bed, to take Mr. Taylor out. And because of that, they kind of moved it around. And for me being, because I didn't want to compromise the scene, I took it by the uh, handle and I placed it on top of the coffee table that was nearby. Let me show you what has been uh, marked for identification in State Exhibit Number 3G. Do you recognize this? Yes. What's this a picture of? That's his uh, kitchen and the living room area. 
All right, does this depict where you shut, where you saw Mr. Taylor at first? No, it's more in the hallway over here on the side. You're saying to Mr. the side of correct. where I am, where mm -hmm. my finger is now? Yes. All right, so let me just show the jury what this says. Well, I beg your pardon. I moved this to the other system upstairs. All right, we're good. This is the mark of the identification of the AG-9 complex is at number 31. back out of the way. Keep the photograph pointed this way. Show the ladies and gentlemen of the jury where you saw Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor was here. I, Mr. Taylor was here. So this is where but my I finger saw, is? I, yes, I saw his legs here. His head was more inside. Right. And where did you put the machete? Right here on the table. Right here? Yes. And what did you notice about the sliding glass door? It was broken. Uh, just like this, it was broken. It was shattered in. Yes. All is shattered. All right, let's come over here and show these other uh, ladies and gentlemen so they can see better. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm getting over this, so I apologize for this. First, let's uh, show where you, <coughs> the general area where you saw Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor, I saw some his legs here. Um, like I said, the machete was here. It was here in the hallway. As I said, when the front door is this way, so when fire rescue came in with the, with the bed, the machete was here, and in fear of it getting compromised with the evidence and so forth, I placed it here. Were you afraid, afraid people might walk over Correct. and injure themselves, Correct. things like that? Yes. You can take your seat again. Our next witness is going to be a little long. It's that mid-afternoon time where you either need a cup of coffee, a shot of Cuban coffee, uh, stand up wake around there and a bathroom break and stuff. So we're going to take about a 10 minute break right now. If you would, assemble where Ralph asked you to in about 10 minutes. We'll continue on with the next witness. Um, let's try to keep on this floor who came down the other end when they report back up. Okay. All rise. Ladies and gentlemen, fold your tablets, close them up, put them face down on your chair. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings with you. And we'll meet you in 10 minutes, the other end of this hallway.
opposite courtroom 4 dash that's the east end, okay? Now it's time for call. Thank you. 